Stage Tom. Uh, hi, my name is John Tennant and I'm the founder of the Open Science MOOC. I'm worried about this thing on my head. Uh, right, so I'm going to sort of follow on from what Olga just talked about and not really discuss much about blockchain, but more like the wider context of the Open Science Movement. Or the title of this is What do Penguins, Gimli, and Cobras have to do with open science? And if you want to find out what that relationship is, you sort of have to stay awake. Hello everyone, my name is Desapta from Indonesia. I'm here with Junaman and Surya and also his wife, Aphelia to have a gathering and to have a memorial day of John Tannen, our dearest friend that passed away a year ago today, 9th of April, uh, 2020. Uh, he was a friend to all of us, uh, whether uh, we are have already met him in person or not. Uh, in this case, uh, myself and also Surya and Aprilia has met John in person, uh, but Junamans here uh, haven't met him in person. So uh, we're, we're doing this uh, online via Zoom. So Junaman, can you uh, introduce a bit about yourself. Thank you, Erwin. Hi, friends. I am Junman Abraham. I am the head of research and publication division of the Indonesian Psychological Association. I am also an associate professor of social psychology at Bina Nusantara University in Jakarta, Indonesia. And also, Junman. Uh, can you tell me uh, what's John's role, his um, uh, important roles that that uh, also important according to you, uh, based on our situation here in Indonesia, and also uh, how can we uh, continue his legacy? John was an advocate of open science, who paradoxically and interestingly constantly did self-criticism of the concept and movement of open science. The open science that he fought, developed, and socialized is a true open science, which is beautifully protected from the counterfeit open science deriving from the current practices of neoliberalism. Let us reflect on one of his last articles entitled Fixing the Crisis State of Scientific Evolution. One of his most important legacy is his political insistence that we need to police the police. We need to police the metric vendors by imposing our own regulations to them based on what we value most about science and society. He also strongly remind us to approach the knowledge economy differently by fostering a more compassionate, dialogical, catch-all, and bullying-free research culture. Okay, thank you, Junman, for your explanations and introductions. And now, uh, we're coming to uh, another part of this session. Here, I would like to present our ideas about uh, academic imperialism in Indonesia. I uh, would like to present uh, our uh, latest paper. Uh, here, I wrote with this article with Junman. Right? The, the title is Set Them Free. Uh, a manifesto toward moving beyond academic imperialism. Uh, 
so basically this this paper is uh, talking about our opinion uh, related to the current situation in in science and publication uh, in Indonesia and how we value and assess science to uh, to into our daily life here as academics. Here we we argue that the scientific and and academic community in Indonesia have been uh, continuously imperialized by uh, external forces. Uh, in this case, uh, the the imperialism is changed uh, from the old times. Uh, when the Dutch and and uh, Japanese uh, imperialized, imperialized uh, Indonesia, uh, here we came to a new era, new mode of imperialism, uh, which uh, has been uh, conducted by uh, big publishers uh, from the European and. Uh, and also the American side of the continents. Um, those imperialism uh, is reflected uh, by our regulations and our policy here in Indonesia that, that always included uh, parameters, indicators that, that introduced by those uh, commercial uh, publishers uh, then and we we kind of forget the the intrinsic factors or or internal factors of the uh, science research and publication itself so uh, we kind of summarized those points uh, into this article you can uh, read it yourself uh, the link will be given to you it's rather long but but hopefully it can uh, reflect our opinions uh, in in a, a concise and, uh, or compelling way so after this uh, i would like to show the poster from uh, Surya and Afrilia that they would like to share. We're coming to the part where Surya and Afrilia would share his poster. So that's all everyone, few words from us, Indonesia Open Science Teams, uh, represented by Junaman, Surya, Afrilia, and myself, Dasapta. See you again in the future, in the next Open Science meeting. Hopefully you will hear uh, progress from us. And John, rest in peace. <laughs>